we teach boys a new, more equal, lovely society? A women's strength is a reflection on guys' masculinity, and it's like it's not at all. That's not good for anyone, guys. Ah, it's so insane. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all settling back into whatever you're doing after the summer and I hope we're all having a lovely Monday. I am back this week to talk about something, just kind of have a kind of a casual chat really and nothing too strenuous. I want to talk about how we teach boys things in this new age. So basically, I've noticed that like, thankfully, you know, in this age of feminism and everyone's becoming a lot more aware of gender equality, we are teaching girls that they can be anything they want to be. We're saying to them, you can be strong, you can be weak as well if you want, and that's okay, you know, you can cry, but you can also not cry and you don't have to, you know, just grow up to be a certain thing, that you have so many options available to you and you can... You know, you can go to work or you can stay at home and that's okay and you can want to get married or you can not want to get married and that's okay and you know, all these things and it's amazing. But something I'm noticing is that like, we've kind of changed the way we're teaching girls things and the kind of what we're saying to girls as they grow up, but we haven't really changed how we're teaching boys. Like, we're saying to girls, oh, yeah, you can be anything you want. But like, boys kind of always knew they could be anything they wanted so we, we didn't really need to say that to them or you know, we didn't really need to say to boys that, oh, you know, you can you can be strong. Because boys always were told to be strong. We haven't really changed how we talk to boys that much. And I think it's so, so interesting to talk about. So today I'm going to, yeah, just going to talk a bit more about that. And talk about some of the things that, that we teach girls. And then some of the things that I think we need to teach boys to kind of match up with those those lessons. And yeah, just, just talk about some of the, kind of the consequences, I guess, of of not teaching boys these things and how if and when we do change the way we, we teach boys and the things we say to boys how it will lead to a much nicer society. So let's get right into it. I guess why I think it's such an issue is that what we're teaching girls they can be super super strong and amazing and independent and confident and all these things but we're almost it's almost like we're still teaching boys that they can too be those things and it creates this kind of confusion it's like you know kind of boys and then they grow up to be men kind of think well you know like i'm i'm still being told that i'm meant to be the breadwinner i'm meant to be this emotionally strong person but i have a girlfriend or i have a wife or i have a sister who are all these things as well so what's my role now you know like are they taking over my role it kind of, it's, it's kind of it's so obvious i think when you think about it it kind of creates this this is natural confusion. And I think it can lead to kind of a tension and like a friction in so many areas. And almost like a society that like can never fully move forward. Like, we're, you know, we're trying to move forward and we're teaching girls, oh, you can be anything you want to be. But if we're not teaching boys that girls can be anything they want to be, then like, how are we ever going to get to that stage? You know, if we teach girls that they can be high powered lawyers, just as a completely generic example. And yet we don't teach boys that girls can be high-powered lawyers. If boys are still the ones with the power and they're still the ones giving out jobs and they're still the ones deciding who gets, you know, admitted to the bar or whatever, you know, that's, as a, again, completely random example. How are women ever going to progress? It creates this, this friction and this, this it's kind of like, it's kind of like we're, we're getting girls to that, that edge of you can do anything you want. But then it's, you know, the men still have the power. We kind of can't really break through that. It's almost like, why would we prepare girls to be anything they can they want to be and to be amazing and send them out into this world that isn't fully ready for them that isn't fully prepared for them it's kind of it's kind of mean and it's kind of untruthful it's not obviously anything uh, malicious or anything intended but that's kind of what ends up happening if we don't also teach boys certain things as well about this kind of new more equal lovely society that we are creating so I guess in terms of like kind of concrete examples of things that I think that we say to girls and that we should be saying to boys. So like I've already mentioned, we say to girls, oh, you know, you can be, you can be strong, you know, physically, like you can be muscly and you can be anything. And that, that, that isn't an unfeminine trait, you know, like typically girls have to be nice and like slender and pretty. And, you know, we're saying to girls, you can be, you can physically be anything you want, but then we're not teaching boys that that girls can be this. So, you know, boys are still thinking, oh, that's super unattractive and that's super unfeminine. And so we're sending girls out into the world, you know, who are, you know, sporty and are, you know, kind of blocky and built. And then they're meeting guys who don't think they're pretty because we're still 
teaching boys, I guess, that girls are meant to be like slender and like pretty and all this stuff. And again, it's just this tension and this confusion and it's unfair to girls because they then think they're unpretty and it's like, no, you know, that's just guys have been taught for centuries what makes a, a, an attractive woman and they're still being taught that. But you've changed, but what they're learning hasn't changed and so it's just, it's just again this, this weird mismatch of, of issues. And also, you know, in terms of being strong, emotionally strong, that women don't have to be, say, looked after all the time. You know, we're teaching gr girls that they can look after themselves and, and be strong and be all these things. And yet we're not teaching boys this. So boys, again, like I said, think that they have to be the caregivers or they have to mind women. And they don't. And so again, when, when women mind themselves, men are losing this role and this, this confusion. And like, it's almost then that it's like that women's strength is a reflection on guy's masculinity and it's like it's not at all and but I think some guys are internalizing that and they think okay yeah it, it, it is and it's like no if you know if we simply teach guys you know women are strong women don't necessarily need you to look after them so if a woman doesn't need you that's not a reflection on your masculinity that, that, that doesn't mean you're weak or that you're unattractive or that you're not worthy or that you're not fulfilling your role as a man it just means that women are different now and our role and what we're capable of is different um, or not necessarily different but that we're just allowed now to reach our potential and be who we always were so I think it's, it's as much for women to be able to be who they are as much for men like I don't want men to be confused either of their roles and and to create this friction because that's that's when it leads to tension and it leads to conflict and fighting and that's not good for anyone guys Another huge example is, you know, we teach girls about consent. We teach girls to be able to say no um, during sex or in a bar and a night out. We teach girls, you know, you can say no and you can not be interested and you can have autonomy over your body and that's amazing. And then we don't teach boys that girls can say no and that girls can have autonomy over their body and that girls are allowed to have feelings, you know, and again then we don't teach boys this, so then they are out in a club and they hear a no and they completely internalise it and think it's something to do with them. They think that they're maybe not fulfilling their role as a man and all these things and again, conflict. Like, it's so, it's so obvious. Why would we teach girls? They can go out and say no to boys with confidence and then we don't teach boys to expect that no. And then that obviously is going to lead, as we've seen, like there are so many consent issues and so many rapes and sexual assaults where women... You know, we're told, you know, you should have stuck up for yourself. And then women say, I did, and it still didn't work. And so it's obviously there's something going wrong here. And it's like, it's just so obvious. We need to teach guys to listen to women. And we need to, when we say to girls, you can say no. We need to teach guys to accept that no. It's just so obvious. Why would we, why would we not, like, tackle both issues at the same time? Like, ah, it's so insane. You know, and then just in terms of more simple ones, like when we say to girls, you know, like, oh, you know, you don't have to be, a stay-at-home wife, or you don't have to be a stay-at-home mom, you don't have to have dinner on the table by six o'clock, you know what I mean? Like, we need to also teach guys that they need to be able to cook, and they need to be able to clean, and because, like, like literally, if a man and woman get married, and there's no one cooking or cleaning, <laughs> something's gone wrong, there's something gone wrong there. That's gonna lead to tension, that's gonna lead to conflict. Again, just so baffling why we don't teach boys and girls, like, the same things, but just different angles of those same issues, like it's, it's boggling to me. Or just, you know, like we teach girls they can be, you know, assertive and they can speak up and they can have their voices heard, whether that's in a relationship or in a classroom or in a boardroom. We teach girls, yeah, you know, go out into the world now and, and speak up. Again, we're not teaching boys to maybe just listen, maybe just sit back and be quiet and listen to what girls and women have to say. So obviously we're sending girls out into the world full of opinions, full of loudness and full of everything that you know we we're, were told not to do for centuries they go into the border and they have an opinion and they're just not listened to because boys weren't taught to respect that it's insane and it's again just unfair to girls we send them we tell them you can be anything you want we send them out into the world and then they're starkly reminded that we haven't actually changed as much as we would have hoped and it's just it's just so unfair and i really i hope that if i ever have kids a boy or a girl or anyone that I teach them correctly or I, you know, I just, I wouldn't ever want to send someone out into the world not prepared and it's almost, it's kind of like this thing I always think about, like, you know, if I have a daughter, like, should I 
not tell her that the world is sexist? Or should I tell her the world is sexist and, and ruin her hopes, ruin her dreams? But prepare her for it. Oh, this, ah, oh, just like this inner conflict. But also, if I have a son, I need to be able to tell him that it's the pressures you're gonna face. You might feel a pressure to pressure a girl, you might feel a pressure to talk shit about a woman or not listen to her opinions, but that's not okay. You know, you're gonna have to change. We're all gonna have to change. There's probably like so many more examples, but I just wanted to give a few, like really just to bring home the point, like, i said it loads of times throughout this video, but like, you know, we teach girls things, we need to be able to teach boys the converse, essentially, or like, kind of the opposite of that, or, or basically just, just tackle the issue, not just say these things to girls as if it's their responsibility to change the world. It's not. It's, it's guys as well, you know, we all need to work together, lovely, flowery, blah, 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 we all need to be happy, and, you know, I just think, like, if, if we, if we keep teaching girls these things and not teaching guys, it's gonna lead to so much conflict. It already is, and... It would just be so much better if we just teach everyone these new lovely things with the world, guys. So that is this week's video. Very much just a chat to me, just getting my thoughts off my chest. Uh, if you have any questions or any thoughts on that, obviously we'd love to hear that in the comments below. And hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Don't forget to like my page if you like it. Ha! Bye!